Hey, you guys. Thanks for listening in today on this episode of Tips with T. On today, I have Miss Nicole with us. Miss Nicole, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, tell us more about yourself and what you do. So, um, I am a dating and relationship coach. Um, I am a mother. Um, I am. I have one son. I have a daughter-in-law. And I just became a grandmother for the first time on Saturday. Oh, congratulations. Um, thank you. Um, and so what I do as a uh, dating and relationship coach, I help single Christian women to heal from past relationships, um, to overcome things like uh, rejection, low self-esteem, loneliness, um, and then ultimately attract their ideal relationship. Awesome, awesome. So what made you decide to become a um, relationship or a dating coach for Christians, Christian women? So, I, you know, I can't, I don't know if I decided to do this so much as, you know, God chose me to do this. This is definitely my purpose. And I say that because, you know, God allowed me to go through some things um, as I made poor choices <laughs> um, concerning men. Um, but, you know, I, you know, I, you know, in making all these, you know, poor choices, like I said, God allowed me to go through so many things. But in, you know, when he extended his grace to me, um, as he's been transforming me, he gave me a lot of tools, a lot of equipment. Um, and, you know, and then um, in my devotions one day, he spoke to me and he said, you know, as I went through my healing process, he said, you know, this is, this is your testimony and I want you to share it to help other women. And so, you know, that's how this became my purpose. And so I'm just doing what I was called to do. Awesome. awesome. So why do you think it's so important for us to heal from bad relationships? So, you know, when you when you've gone through a relationship, you know, even if even if it wasn't that bad, you know, um, in order to before you move to your next relationship, you need to heal. And I say that because, you know, when you're moving from, from one relationship to the next, you're taking, you know, the baggage of that relationship into the next one. And, you know, each relationship is gonna have, you know, enough trouble of its own. There's no need to take, you know, the baggage from one relationship into the next one. Um, and so when you're not healing one, you know, so for instance, you know, women often ask me, you know, why do I keep attracting the same type of men? And part of that is because you're not understanding, you know, the good and bad of the last relationship. And when you don't understand, you know, what's happening in your past relationships, then you're not understanding what you need to do differently or what you need to look for differently for the next relationship. So that's part of the healing process as well. Awesome. Um, yeah, I think it's very much so de definitely important for someone to heal um, during the process or after uh, that relationship because you don't want to take old bags into a new relationship. You don't want to take old the things that damage you and used to break you down or hurt you or cause you to trigger you in some type of way. You don't want to take that into a new relationship um, with anybody. And I tell that with... Um, clients and personal life because that can really hinder um, your growth it can really hinder with something that maybe is actually trying to bless you but you can't accept right. it because you haven't healed from it yet mm -hmm. um, so it's very important for us to um, go through that healing process so give us an example of how you actually do help one of your clients with the healing process so um, I help help them heal uh, by one, you know, like I said, understanding what that pattern is that you need to break, um, what it is that, you know, looking back into the relationship, um, and you don't have to necessarily dig deep into the relationship and keep going over past stories that you don't want to bring up, but you have to understand, 
you know, what was good about that relationship? What was bad about that relationship that you don't want to take into the next relationship? Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes, you know, you have to figure out, you know, what, what happened even prior to that, that makes you draw to that type of relationship. Um, I help them to, you know, break those patterns, um, you know, help them gain clarity, you know, and sometimes in gaining that clarity, you're understanding more so who you are, because a lot of us think we know who we are, but when you really start digging into it, you gain so much more clarity and understand more about who you are and what it is that you want in relationships and life also. Um, and a lot of times we, you know, we figure out our purpose in all of this. So, you know, when you're single, um, a lot of times that's your time to spend with God and figure out what you want in life. Um, so single, when you're single, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, so much good can come out of it. So that's kind of what I help them figure out while they're single. Right. Um, and I really do feel like it should be taught more to embrace being single. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, it's a lot of ministries I have seen or a lot of groups, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with being married. Um, it tends to be, you know, being married tends to be more glorified more than actually being single, which there's nothing wrong with marriage. I am for marriages. Um, I used to be married. However, I wasn't taught in my singleness to embrace my singleness. I wasn't taught in my singleness to find out who I was, find out what my purpose was, find out what God had in store for me. Mm -hmm. um, because when we do that and we find out who we are, everything else that come in our life, including a mate, a spouse, adds on to that. And right. so a lot of people don't know that or don't understand that or don't realize that. And see, I didn't because I didn't take that proper time where I wasn't taught to enjoy my singleness embrace who i am you know to learn these different things about me my triggers um to deal with baggages and hurt from past relationships that i never dealt with mm -hmm. so um i really do feel like what you're doing is very very good and outstanding because that kind of is the foundation of having a successful relationship having a successful marriage Right. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, when when people go through bad relationships, you know, the first thing they say is, oh, I don't want to be in another relationship because, you know, I, you know, I can't trust again. You know, there's so much fear of, you know, getting involved again and having your heart broken again. But, you know, as Christians, we need to understand that, you know, we should not have this fear. You know, God gave us, you know, um, a spirit, not of fear, but of power and of self-control. So, you know, we need to be able to overcome that fear so that we can have the blessings that he wants to provide for us. So, yeah, that's, that's part of what I help them with also overcoming that fear so that we can get to what God has for us. Awesome. Um, so why is your ultimate goal to help your clients to overcome the loneliness? So, you know, helping them, helping them to overcome the loneliness because one, you know, again, when we're single, you know, a lot of times when we're single, we, we say we're lonely, we feel like we're lonely. Um, and it, it, it can be a lonely time if you allow it to be. Um, but I want to help them overcome that loneliness because when you really, you know, accept one, one, accept that you're single, um, and, take that time to spend with the Lord, then, you know, you're, you don't feel that lonely, you know, you feel more joy. Um, and then when you accept that, you can say, yeah, sometimes I feel lonely, you know, but God is always with me. Um, when you overcome that, then everything else is going to fall into place because you spend more time in purpose. Um, you know, you spend more time walking in purpose. And when you're walking in purpose, then, you know, what is for you will come to you. So I want to help them overcome lonely, loneliness so that they can get to the things that, you know, they're supposed to have. They can get to the joy. They can get to the contentment. Um, and, you know, when you have the joy, you have the contentment, then, then life falls into place for you. Nothing can take your joy away. Um, so th that, that's 
why I want them to overcome loneliness. I want them to get to where I got to when I, you know, when, when I was in the state of depression, when I was, when I felt rejected, when I felt like I was never going to trust again, you know, it took me some time to get there. But once I got there, I realized, you know, life is great. And, you know, nothing can take this from me because that, that joy that comes from the Lord um, is, is a, you know, like, unexplainable joy and nothing can break that yeah um, my father had told me uh, whenever I was transitioning from being married to being um, back to singleness being divorced um, I had a hard time coping with being alone for a long period of time um, because I had suffered from PTSD and all the other stuff but he had set me down he was just like T when you start to embrace the loneliness, you will find it to be your best friend. And I never understood what he meant by that. And mm -hmm. now that I do, now I really does do understand that because that's the time that, you know, God spends talking to me and dealing with me about different things. Um, um, you know, and I feel like I'm closer to him more now that I am in an alone area or or by myself within, within singleness. And then mm -hmm. also too, I realized I have so much more peace during my loneliness than, um, or during my singleness than when I was actually was in a marriage that was not really meant for me to be in to start with. So um, definitely can relate to, you know, trying to overcome that loneliness. It is hard, um, but you can't do it. I mean, I rather, and then I thought about it, I was like, God, I'd rather be lonely and be at peace then be mm -hmm. miserable with somebody that I know that I'm not supposed to be with that you have not designed for my life because like I said you know when someone is really supposed to be with you they add to your life they don't subtract and mm -hmm. uh, that's where the turbulence come because we definitely need to figure out who we are so we can be of equal yoke with someone else right yeah yeah I completely agree with that wholeheartedly um and when people get to that point where they realize you know, I'd rather be at peace than go through all of that, what I was going through in the past, then they can actually move forward. So yeah, I agree with you. Awesome. So um, do you have any services um, coming up, any webinars, seminars that you might would like to offer or? So, so I do, I would like to offer um, any of your listeners a um, free personal one-on-one -on -one session with me, um, just so that we can work through what they're going through personally. Um, so I'd like to offer them a Freedom Within Breakthrough session, um, and they can schedule that uh, through their own time in my calendar. Um, and the link to the, the link to the calendar is they can go to my website, sustainablejoy.coach, mm -hmm. um, and go straight to my calendar under contact and schedule their session with me. Or um, they can go to um, calend Calendly, dot -E com forward slash sustainable joy and schedule your Freedom Within Breakthrough session. Um, and so um, when you schedule that session with me, I will you know, give you some tips for what you have going on personally that will help you start to move forward um, at that time. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Miss um, Nicole, for being on the show. I am going to share your social media handles. Okay. That thank you. Um, so people know how to get in contact with you if they need to. Um, you guys, she's on Facebook, um, sustainablejoy.coach one um her website and then this is the free offer that you were talking about miss um nicole about the freedom within breakthrough session correct so and as you can see i'm offering it to your group for um at no charge uh, normally it's a 497 dollar fee so um. awesome you guys if you are going through this you are not alone i will advise you to get the work and get it done now we have miss nicole carter here she is willing to help you um walk you through your journey you're not in this alone and sometimes um it's best to reach out to each other and get help um one of my favorite scriptures was because i am a guy girl um was confess um 
dissecting to one another so we can be healed. Um, so it's good to get that help that we need so we can get that healing that we need. And it first starts with confessing to someone about what we're dealing with. And um, you guys, if you want to get in contact with me, my number is 910-317-0396. You can email me at contact at mjfinancial.biz. You can schedule a consultation with me at www.mjfinancial.biz. You can find this episode on Anchor, you guys, and you can also find this episode for the playback on YouTube. So thank you again, Miss Nicole, for coming on the show today. I highly appreciate you. I hope that you'll be able to come back soon. Yes, of course. I thank you so much for having me. And um, I look forward to anyone scheduling their Freedom Within Breakthrough session today. All right, you guys, and we will see you on the next episode of Tips with Tea.